what we always do is where something we see is we believe nationally significant we will order a, we will award a certificate of excellence so the certificate of excellence is a mark quite literally of excellence where we believe the work has hit that national standard um, and it's the sort of thing that that you you could rightfully be proud of and we would be proud to share with other parts of local government you know so that's that's why we do what we do um, uh, we actually do publish a lot now uh, both di well, mainly digitally but also in the municipal journal and um, the the transformation magazine we 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 which is free um we distribute is now read in 69 countries for people who are involved in local public services so it, it gets quite a bit of reach <laughs> um you know and, and hopefully you know we, we've done sustainability issues before but we will come back and do them again and um uh, you think your project would be um, a, a worthy uh, part of that um, story? Yeah. That's uh, lovely. Well, I'll let I'll let Siobhan talk about what we've been doing since. But uh, in, your words, are, I can't tell you how how welcome your words are. Um, you know, we when we um, took over control of the council three years ago, you know, we had campaigned very much on a on a green ticket because this stuff really really matters matters to us. Um, I mean, I and you know we've we've actually we've achieved such a lot, not just within our own organisation, but our reach has become very wide. So I now lead on the environment for the whole of the Oxford Cambridge Arc, and there wasn't an environment work stream in the Arc when when I first rocked up to their their meetings. So you know we're not we're not insular about this we think that we have the potential to to influence much much wider so you saying that this is internationally significant absolutely resonates uh, with what our ambitions are so you know we've been tremendously lucky that as well as having um councillors who really really you know are passionate about this but actually some of whom are involved professionally in the field so you know just have so much to offer but the fact that we also have considerable expertise within our officers and uh, you know Sharon is uh, is a perfect example of officers who've really gra grabbed our vision because actually I think it was probably her vision as well and uh, and we you know we've worked together so this this isn't us as members just kind of instructing officers to do stuff this is absolutely a partnership between between all of us con contributing equally and that way you know that's why we've achieved something that is certainly a, a pathway as you say it's a continuum this isn't a discrete bit of work we're not going to be putting you know putting the file on the on the shelf and letting it gather dust this is this is a lifetime's a lifetime's work um, yeah. We all care care hugely about so uh, you know absolute partnership within within the organisation and I'm incredibly lucky to have officers of the caliber but also officers who you know don't don't shut the door on this when they go when they go home at the end of the day this stuff matters to them every bit as it matters to me and we are all you know we all live are doing our best to live lives that are as green as possible and will make a difference difference to everyone. But Siobhan, would you want to sort of give a because it's a fast we're doing stuff every day, aren't we? It's really fast moving. I I would just say that the key thing really is um it does what it says on the tin, really. It's the fact that it's 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 a it's the transformation of the organization to being green at green at its core. And so I was just kind of running through my head, well, what are the latest things in the last couple of weeks? But it's 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 difficult really to pin down any because there are so many aspects to this and I think one of the things that we are really um, strengthening is the way in which is the structures which kind of make this which really embed this and so for example yesterday I was at our monthly green to our core cluster board meeting which brings together senior officers from across the from from all aspects of the council and we have a an ever strengthening process of going through the projects and keeping them on track, making sure that we capture all of this work and, and, and get it going. Um, if I were just to mention one thing, um, because it's, a, it's an aspect I've been closely involved with, but just very recently, we've held a climate and environment fortnight in which a real kind of bonus of COVID in a way, because this is something we would never have done if it hadn't yes. been for yeah. COVID. So we held a series of online events um, over that fortnight on different aspects, including what you can do on to green your older home, 
what you can do um, in terms of your uh, making your diet more sustainable, um, what you can do to make your business more sustainable, um, something on travel to travel to school, making that sustainable. And um, we also had an event for farmers in the area. We're a rural area. And so actually what farmers do is really important. It's not something we would normally get much involved with, but working with another organization, we um, had a, a, a film made showing five farmers in the area who are doing fantastic stuff. We had over 500 people logged into that event and that, mm -hmm. that film is sort of, you know, is being shown, is, is being seen across the globe. So it's, it's just a really nice example of uh, what we're doing, but really we're doing so many things that it's quite hard to pin down, down you know, any particular ones to point out. But thank you very much for recognising uh, what we're doing because uh, that you know that that does mean a lot to us and it's uh, it's very nice to hear.